Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sasrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at Vareva.com. Today we are going to learn how to make Kemcho, Majama, Saruche. I'm just kidding. We are going to learn a Gujarati dish which we call it Kachori. I lived in Gujarat for three years and I worked in a welcome group of Vadodara in Baroda. And often I think if I ever go back to India, if I have to settle down, I would love to go and settle back in Baroda. That is because it's a beautiful city, it's wonderful people and I love my stay there, not just because of Garba. Oh my God, if I just start off on Baroda, it is one of the wonderful time I ever had in my life. So today we're going to learn how to make this kachori, which is very simple. Let me tell you a little bit about these kachoris before I start. Every household you go, their kachoris taste little different. And every household has their own signature kachoris. So today I am going to show you one basic kachori with which you can make modification, you can make with various ingredients, they make with lentil, they make with various ingredients. Today I am going to make kachori using lilwa. Lilwa is the beans. In fact, you can buy various kinds of uh, lilwas. You know, this is a surti lilwa you, and you can use many of those to make this kachori. Here, I have got a food processor and I have got lilwa here, which I boiled. You know, make sure you boil this lilwa, okay, and uh, put it in a food processor. Add a little bit of green chili and a little bit of coriander. Instead of green chili, if you want to use chili powder, you can go ahead and use it. Now, I am going to make it into a coarse paste, okay. Here you can see I have blended this slightly coarse. Add little bit oil. Do not add too much oil. Add very little. That is to just cook these ingredients and saute them. And we want to make this mixture a little bit dry. Whatever little moisture is there, we want it to evaporate. For the tarka, a lot of people use mustard seeds, ajwain. If you want to use, you can go ahead and use. I am going to use a little bit of jeera. And add a little bit of ginger garlic paste. Add little bit of hing, little bit of turmeric and just mix it up and add this mixture. Add this lilwa paste and then just mix it up. Pinch of salt and then just, you know, let it cook for some time till this mixture becomes really dry. See for any kind of kachoris, if your mixture is moist, your kachoris will not come out good. See the reason is when the kachoris are done after frying, you want them to remain crisp. That is possible only when you have this mixture dry and uh, cook it. See this um, lilwa is cooked. We added raw green chilies. So we are going to let it cook for some more time. Now let me taste this. And uh, add pinch of sugar. Adding this pinch of sugar instantly gives it that Gujarati effect. It is sticking to the spoon. You know, you want to cook it till the spoon comes out dry. Okay. And cook it on a medium flame till the, all this mixture is nicely dry. Now, according to your taste, if you want to add a little bit of coriander powder, just you can add a little bit of it. Do not add too much. Make this mixture to suit to your family taste. I have seen many times people using mustard seeds, armchur powder, fennel that is soft in making this mixture. So add your favorite ingredients to it and make it to suit to your taste. But always try to make this mixture dry. Now this mixture is ready. Just sprinkle a little bit of lime juice. Okay. That will give a very refreshing taste. Okay. And then mix it. And then we are going to keep it aside and use it as a filling later. Check the seasoning and if you want to add a little bit of uh, salt or sugar, just add to it. Now to make this dough, I have taken around 1 cup of uh, maida and add a little bit of salt. Okay, And then pour around 1 tablespoon of ghee. Just the way we make our shortcuts pastry, just mix it up, you know, make it like nice crumbles. You know, instead of ghee, you can use oil, you can use dalda, anything, whatever you want. 
you know, I've made it nice crumble. And here, I've soaked a little bit of suji, around half a tablespoon of suji with little warm water. And then I'm going to add to this mixture. Okay. And I'll just kind of make it a little bit crumbles. Okay. So that it uh, evenly mixes off with this mixture. And now, add a little bit water in this mixture and make a soft dough. Okay. Okay. And just knead the dough a little bit. After you knead the dough, let this dough rest for few minutes and later we are going to make wonderful kachori. You know, making kachori is very easy. All you need to do is take little bit of, uh, you know, dough in your hand. Just spread it little bit. Put a spoonful of uh, this kachori masala, that lilwa kachoris, and uh, just pull this edges together see how simple it is just you know once you pull it out just squeeze it like this and you have your kachori ready isn't it very easy you can see just spread it flat take a spoonful of masala put it in the center ok now hold the edges pull it out Pull the edges and pull it out. And once it is done, just, you know, squeeze it out and then pull this. See, now you can see. And this kachori came out so easy and simple. You know, I learned this kachori is actually from uh, Ganga Ben. She is a Gujarati lady, very old lady. She has grandchildren of my age. She used to come and help me in my restaurant whenever I have a lot of parties especially Gujarati parties and we need a lot of kachoris. She used to come and make them and she used to make it really fast. Okay. She used to just spread a little bit on the hand. Okay. Put a spoonful of uh, uh, kachori masala and just press it inside. Okay. You can make it any way where you want. See, all the masala is come inside. Now look at this, how it is. So just keep pressing and then, you know, just squeeze it up. See, now you can see there is nothing, absolutely and you have wonderful kachoris. Now you can see how easy it is. Because we made this dough right and soft, this can spread very easily and as thin as you can spread it. Okay. Now let's go ahead and fry these kachoris. Frying these kachoris is also very skillful. When these are done, you want nice golden color. You don't want dark brown. So fry them in a low medium heat. On a medium heat, just drop these kachoris. Okay. Now, when you fry this, you are not trying to cook the mixture inside because the mixture inside is already cooked, but you want a very nice texture outside. So, cook it in a little less than medium flame. Look at this, how beautiful they are coming. Now, it is almost 4 or 5 minutes that I have been frying them and look at the color. See, if you fry them at the right temperature, you will get awesome color. Wow! Look at this kachori. You cannot tell which side I have sealed. That is when you got an excellent kachori. Wow. Look at these kachoris. The outside is nice flaky. And uh, wow, wonderful. Even the inside mixture with the salt and sugar, perfect combination of um, all the spices. Wow, this is good. After eating these kachoris, you know what I want to do? Na 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 na. Of course, if I had the dandiya sticks and garba music, I would be going crazy now. These wonderful kachoris remind me of the beautiful food of Gujarat. And in the future coming days, we are going to make a lot of Gujarati dishes. And I hope you have enjoyed to learn how to make these wonderful kachoris with your washer. Remember, Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So, Please post your recipes and cooking tips so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Yeah.